you're watching come chat with me and tonight we're on location at the fen brooklyn and it's the pop-up art show for uncut yeah you don't know it's the street artist that's behind the art protect your art all right so keep it locked come chat with me with there boom protect your art is the modernized version of proverb 423 above all else guard your art for everything you do comes from it Uncut Art celebrates his birthday with a one-day pop-up art show for his birthday at Defend Brooklyn in the East Village. 423, funny, is it's a proverb in the Bible, and in the proverb that says um, to um, guard your heart above all else because it's a well stream of life. And somebody had brought that to my attention when I first came up with my idea, and he was like, yo, that's in the Bible too. I'm like, oh, the Bible is promoting that too. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. We're on the same page. So I took the number. And we made it 423, which is April 23rd, which is actually National Protect Your Heart Day. But with the Protect Your Heart, the goal is to to give everybody opportunity to encounter it, to 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 run into it, to to be to be inspired by it, you know. And all around the world, it just really don't matter. It's anybody and everybody. And as an artist, my goal is to go to the top. I mean, museums, you know, I want to have sculptures and and murals everywhere. I mean, currently I'm working on that right now. So yeah. there's a lot of plans when it comes to me as an artist, you know, fashion, want to write a book, yeah. stuff of that nature, but all based on protecting your heart. I was into fashion before I started doing art. That's, I stopped doing that to yeah. focus on my art. Now that you know, I'm like a little bit fully established. People are like, yeah, you should go back and do some of your fashion, do art in your fashion, and yeah. that's that. Where you get inspiration from? From life, from the whole concept of wanting life to be better and wanting to evolve from a certain aspect. Yeah. You keep your face covered. Oh, you know, it's just two reasons. Number one, I'm a vandal, and I got stuff all over the street. So okay. no, I don't want police even okay. identifying me. Okay. Number two, I want people to focus on my art. I don't want to be the focus of protect your heart. I want the person, whoever is the people, to be the focus of that. So I don't want to be the focus point and I don't want to be the person everybody like, oh my God, it's the guy. No, you are the guy. You're the one I ran into it. You're the one that's promoting it. So that's you. You know, I, I just like my privacy, really. I love Un's art. Um, it speaks a lot to me because I think love is very important and I feel like my generation has given up on love for the most part. And I think that's because people have not protected their hearts and been hurt. So I feel like his message is critical. The Finn Brooklyn is a brand that started in 1996. Um, I, I grew up with my friends and I wearing it and I bought it in 2010. So when I bought it, I expanded it to other categories, um, not just uh, sweats and tees, but we expanded into women's jackets. We, we expanded into different categories and different price points yeah. because the message of Brooklyn was really be successful as being yourself. You know, Barbara Streisand didn't get a nose job. Biggie didn't care that he was fat. You know, Seinfeld made a show about nothing. The whole idea is be completely yourself and how you're made, you can be successful just like that. All of our clothes represent love and being yourself and being comfortable being yourself. So we try to perpetuate that and always keep a creative, welcoming environment in every store that we open. We feature all different local artists, but pretty much any artist that I like, any artist that I think is dope and has a, and has a dope message. So Un is not only a dope artist, he's also a dope person. So, and his message is dope. His message is protect your heart because out of it, everything else in your life comes from your heart. I see you trying on some stuff earlier. You see anything you like? Um, yeah, no, I love everything that Un does. He's like an incredible artist, so. For real, for real, yeah, for real. real. Explain some more, what do you think about this art? Um, so all of it's got like a really deep meaning to it. Um, it's got like real, like drive behind the purpose of his art and like that's what art's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like represent something and he really represents something. You gotta protect your heart, that's real. I absolutely love it. I'm always a fan of Ayn, he's family to me. And um, I've seen him doing art since he was doing it on sneakers and then clothing, doing fashion shows until so he started hitting the streets and now it's like a whole another situation. I'm so proud of him, I think it's dope. I'm 
showing lots of love to my homie, an amazing artist. Here we go way back from the 70s, and I see how much he's grown over the years. And I'm just here showing love. I'm loving my protect your nice. hat, snapback hat, unisex for male and females. I'm loving the camouflage. I'm a big camouflage, you know, fan. I'm loving all the art. Protect your heart really means, um, you know, protect what you what you put in it. You know, what I'm saying protect yourself, like your your energy. You know, don't allow things outside of yourself to make you do things that you're not supposed to. As far as go crazy, go angry, and fear, all that stuff is outside and energy that you know that forces people into that space. It's more like protect yourself from all of that and protect yourself from the most important person in the world yo so protect yourself from yourself because you are the ones that make all the decisions that get you in certain scenarios and you're the ones that put yourself in a lot of the things that you put yourself into whether good or bad but when you protect yourself from yourself you tend to watch where a lot of the ideas and things that come through your head because you know as a person you know you like certain things but then other people might influence you to do certain things so now you might find yourself caught up in between the influential aspect and what you really like the protecting yourself aspect is like i have to protect myself from what i'm being influenced to do and stick to what i know what to do which is myself